There's an incredible gif right now. <laughs> there is an incredible gif a couple out there. floating around the internet. There is a couple. You sprinting to get into the photos. I completely forgot about that until you mentioned it. Great athleticism, by the way. Thank you. It's not easy Thank to make it down there in time to get the photo. Yeah, I heard my hamstring a couple of times. <laughs> Uh, Jacoby Brissett is now on IR yeah. due to photo bombing. No, the the gif of your face talking to Andrew Luck on the sideline in that notorious third preseason game with the Adam Schefter bomb happening in the third quarter. Was that the moment you can clear this up? I'll clear it up. Was that the moment you were told by Andrew? No. Okay. But it was the moment that he told me that the tweet went out. Okay, so it did have something to do with it. Yeah, it did have something to do with it. But I'll end it. My face showed the, my expression. Incredible. Yeah, I don't know how they caught that, but... Oh, the internet is undefeated. The, inter the internet... They will find everything. They will find everything. So that was the moment that Andrew said to you, yeah, it's already been mentioned publicly. Everybody in this stadium knows right now. Yeah, and I didn't even... I guess it went out before he even told me. But then I, like, went up to him. He called me over. And then I just heard people, like, in the background. I'm like, wait, oh, the tweet really did go out. Your face is one of the greatest facial expressions I've ever seen in my life. Utter disbelief out of nowhere, just complete boom, and then you see you try to save the conversation. Yeah. What a moment there, and I know you guys are past it. You have to be. The NFL is a season where you only get so many opportunities. If you were to dwell on the things that happened in the past, you'd never be successful in the future. No but way. since that situation happened, which is massive, is the reason why we're here, the reason why you're a starter. The only reason why you're talking to me. I would like to talk to you because of your tweets. <laughs> All right, there I like go. your tweets. Right. I'm a big fan of a guy that tweets. Gotcha. I've been, I've been lacking. I've been a little busy lately. So. Yeah, there's a lot of shit going on. It's all right. That's all right. But that, that situation with luck took over the world. Literally took over the world. What was your initial thoughts whenever you heard it was going to happen? When Andrew, I assume, told you that he was going to retire before the world found out. What were your initial thoughts on it? And what is the thought of the team moving forward? Uh, when he first told when he first told me, I, I couldn't believe it. Just because, like, I know how much Andrew loves, which you know how much yeah. Andrew loves football, you know. Uh, and he'll tell you how much football has like consumed his life. And uh, you know, we probably talked for about an hour and a half that day. And I just saw how happy he, you know, gradually became after like throughout the conversation after he told me his reasons and stuff. And you know, when I walked out, I was like at peace with him like making his decision uh, especially as a teammate you know you kind of you want your teammates to be able to feel like they can live with their decisions that's on the field and off the field yep. uh, and you know I, and I saw that in him so I, after that like you know I was still shocked uh, for a couple of days but then you know I was happy for him I talked to him like you know we talked fairly regularly after that uh, and I like it just made me happy like to see him like I would assume you being happy for him by the way went a long way for him like when I was retiring, I everybody knew I was retiring basically for a few months leading up to it. But my big thing was I was scared that my teammates were going to be pissed off at me, right? Yeah. I was scared that Vinatieri was going to be mad at me because I held his balls perfectly for eight years. Probably got to rephrase that a little bit, but I get what you're going with. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared that he was going to hate me, though. I was scared that people were going to feel like I let them down. I would assume Luck felt that same way. So you giving him at the end of that conversation, like, hey, man, we're happy for you. Probably went a long way for him. You're you're a good friend without even knowing it, I'd assume. Appreciate it. I, I mean, I try to be. In, you know, we our friendship will probably last. What Not probably will last, you know, longer than both our football careers. So, uh, you know, I'm just happy that he's at peace. Did you know that he hated you? At first, I kind of got the sense that he hated me. Just he came back? He was when like... He, this uh, fucking person. guy. Yeah, he's like, who fucks this guy? <laughs> like, fuck you too, man. Because <laughs> he even mentioned it. I mean, that was a big moment for him, that press conference. All eyes were on him. And he even talked about how when I got back, I was incredibly jealous of this guy. I hated him. And then your friendship grew through that. Did the wolf pack going into a potentially awkward situation, becoming friends, help you become friends with Andrew in that situation? Uh, somewhat. But it's, I kind of, my personality, you know, like, I, I can't be, I can't hate anybody, you know? So, it just gradually like we I use football and uh you know how we were doing on the field as a tool to like kind of get to know him off the field and then you know before I know it we we're like just hanging out talking he's an interesting dude yeah he that's to say the least he is and he doesn't care that he's At an all. interesting dude I've always said that Andrew Luck is an anomaly he's the prototype of an NFL quarterback big he's an avatar 
he's got a great arm, but then you place like this hipster nerd right inside of that body, and it's just like this incredible recipe of a guy who was so fun to be around and incredible to watch as a football player. Your team now. Did you talk to the offense? Did you did Coach Reich have you do anything, or is it just kind of day to day? Here we go. No, Business I mean, as usual. Talk as a or, like as a team, you know, Frank talk and, and Ballard talk, which everybody saw. Uh, but uh, you know, not just me alone, but other you know leaders stepped up and uh, you know talked to the team because uh, it was it, it was a you know it, like I went traumatic is the wrong word, but in a it's sense, huge, it was a, a shocking event. Hell yeah. Uh, and it, a lot of players, you know, like I said, a lot of players come here to play with luck. A lot of players. You know, respect him enough and have played with him a long time so they felt a certain type of way uh not mad or anything but just shocked and you know not hurt because he did it but like hurt because they won't see him and be around him uh for a while well forever but <laughs> he's not dead he'll be around yeah exactly but uh so it was just more so just kind of like clearing the air and i kind of felt like i had this you know what'd you say uh you, you know, don't have just, to do the whole thing yeah I won't. just the gist but you know just the expectation doesn't change uh you know hold me to the same standard if not a higher standard uh, and and just go to work every day you know and that's what they're going to get out of me tom brady didn't get into bledsoe got hurt right yeah. tom brady comes in this dude who didn't even play at michigan nobody knows who he is voila greatest quarterback of all time everybody has to have an opportunity open up for them yeah. that's what has to happen it's the way the nfl is yeah. you're getting that opportunity now has there been a moment where you're like looking in the mirror Holy shit, here we go. Now we go. Has there uh, been any of those? It actually was. You know, the next day I drove and I was coming to, to work and, you know, I sat in my car for like 10, 15 minutes and I was like, shit, like, <laughs> when I walk through these doors, it's, I guess it's official, you know? Yeah. But, uh, but I'll probably say that day, the next day. I'm so happy for you, man. Appreciate it, man.